I'm going to talk about this piece, which you can see is a buffet. And I've been using it for a workbench, which you can see from the top. And now that we've reworked my workshop area, I have this piece. And initially I was just gonna get rid of it, but you know, my redesign brain kicked in and I, I don't have the heart to just throw it away. So I'm going to try to challenge myself to redo this piece and flip it. So we will see how that goes. The doors are missing also on this piece and we may find those somewhere else in the garage as we're sorting through everything. We'll see. If not, we'll figure out how to deal with that when the time comes. And then of course this top, there is no amount of sandpaper in the world that can save this top. So we're gonna have to figure out what we're gonna do with that. And then the piece will get redone, new hardware, and I'll give you guys updates as the project goes on, but I wanted you to see the before. And as we make, as I make progress on it, I'll give you video updates. And I think that's it. So we'll see you in the first update. Well, this is what it looks like right now. And we've taken the top off because the top was ruined uh, on the other one. And so what I'm hoping we're going to be able to do is get the underside of the top to a point through sanding where we can flip it over and reattach it and use that as the top. So we'll keep you posted on that. And then you can see down in here, we didn't find the doors, unfortunately, and there used to be shelves in there. And we don't have either one, so I'm going to trim out those slots on the inside so that it looks nice and it will just be nice open storage when it's done. And then the other thing we're going to do on this piece is this trim down here. Anytime you see that kind of scrolled looking trim, you automatically think 50s, 60s. It really dates a piece. And this is pretty tall. So we're going to just remove that. Just going to cut it off and let it sit down on the floor still going to be plenty tall enough for people to use as a cabinet and that is where we're going to go with that so we'll update you as that goes finally i started working on the drawers and i sanded them to smooth them out and this is just one coat of paint so it's going to need at least two but this is the color i'm going to do this gray and then i ordered new handles to go on all the drawers and there are more contemporary handles, so that's going to help update this piece too. And you can see inside here, this is nice wood. It's good workmanship, dovetail on the drawers. And so I really hated to throw it out. So I'm happy we're trying to save it, but it's going to be a little bit of a process. Hey everybody, quick update here on the buffet redo that I'm trying to do. I showed you the piece I'm trying to save and I told you in the last video we were going to flip the top upside down to see if we can save it and my hubby got all the braces off so now we're trying to get the adhesive off and for that I'm using super heavy duty sandpaper 40 grit which is like crazy rough and I also got some of these that attach to your drill these wire brushes to see if that might take some of it off. The top might have to be distressed. It depends on how it turns out. But even so, it's made to fit the piece. And if we can reuse it, that's the best solution of all. So I just wanted to give you a quick update. And quick tip, if you have a store in your area called Harbor Freight, make sure you check it out if you haven't. This stuff is so much cheaper in there than Home Depot and Lowe's. Plus all their hand tools and all that kind of stuff. Also way cheaper. So... Look and see if you have one near you, if you are a DIYer. Hey, so obviously I decided to go with a distressed look. So we've just been playing around with hammers and chisels and sanders. And the good thing is we got all the adhesive off. Uh, it's not bad, but to save the top, we're going to have to just do it distressed. So... I've been beating the heck out of the piece and then I'll go back over it with a 
finer sandpaper. But we're going to do distress on it. So we're going to sand it. We'll see what it looks like. And I will show you guys once we get stain on it. We'll see how it goes. So you can see from the piece that we got the bottom off, which is right here. So my hubby do, my partner in crime, was able to remove this. Let me turn it. Oh, there we go. So this was how it sat under the piece. And so by taking that off, we're going to modernize the look of the piece. And he basically used hand saw, reciprocating saw, and sawzall to get it <laughs> to get it off. But he got it off. And by taking that off, we also lowered the piece a little bit. It was pretty tall before. And taking this off um, makes the piece now about 30 inches tall, which is about standard height for a cabinet anyway. So it was a little on the tall side before, to be honest. And the final thing we're going to do to the bottom is get some of those little feet that you can screw in or hammer in so the piece is sitting on something so somebody will be able to move it around without like dragging the actual bottom of the piece across their floor. So the bottom is done. Yay. And here, ladies and gentlemen, is my top. And if you remember, this is the bottom side, so the side that was against the cabinet and now has become the top side because if you remember <laughs> this is the top side and i had literally destroyed it by using it as a workbench and to sand that or strip it no not doing it there's glue and putty and all kinds of stuff on there so we flipped it over it's a little distressed you know there were some dings that kind of pulled away when we took the bracing off but as you saw yesterday, I just kind of went with that and distressed it more. So it's going to be beautiful once it's all styled and it gives the piece some character. And I don't have, I'm okay with that. So I think somebody's going to love it. But anyway, so that's your update. I'm going to keep painting and probably in the next update, it'll be mostly done. Hey everybody, Michelle here with a bonus update on this piece that I've been working on. I know in the last video I said that the next update would be the final one, but I lied. There are a couple things that came up with this and I want to address them real quick with you. The first thing is the color. You notice from the video before it was more of a gray blue color and it turned out to be a lot more blue than I thought it should be to be have universal appeal. So I went more neutral with this grayish. That's one update. Second update is I got the drawer hardware that I want to put on, and you can see these poles. They're just metal bar poles, very contemporary. And they are, the only problem I'm running into is they give you two screws, a long one and a short one. And the long one is too long, and the short one is too short. So to solve for that, we are going to, from inside the drawer, the holes that are there bore it out a little bit on the inside so that the shorter screw can come out the front the distance it needs to which is about like that so it can actually grab the threads inside the handle so that's that issue that we're dealing with and then the final thing is the fix on the grooves that are inside here which i'll let the camera show you and those used to be there used to be shelves in there held with nails and biscuit joiners, and we don't have those shelves anymore. So we got this, it's just plain trim, a little flat molding. We've had it left over from some other projects. And it's painted out the same color as the cabinet. We're going to use it to hide those grooves. It'll give it a little bit of a decorative look, but mostly it will just blend in and those grooves will disappear. So that is the update I wanted to give you at this time. The next time, hopefully, will be the final update with the top fastened on and the handles on and the feet on. And I will see you, hopefully, in that final update. Welcome to what is actually the final update on this furniture redo that I have been working on. And you can see it turned out to be quite a piece. I'm very proud of it. We put a lot of love and TLC into this to get it saved for somebody. So just kind of walking through the features quickly for you. I want to show you the top, which to me is the best part of the piece. We were able to flip the old top, 
use that same piece and refinish and distress this and it turned out to be quite gorgeous in my opinion and then over here i'll show you the drawers we got the handles to work by boring out the holes so that we didn't have to cut off a whole bunch of screws to get the handles so now it's got nice new contemporary handles over here in the cutout, you see we got the molding put in and that masks and covers up the grooves where the old shelling used to be. And then finally across the bottom, the scroll work is gone, which gives this piece a nice contemporary look. And we got the feet underneath. They don't show, they're just there, they're gliders, so that the piece can easily, I'm trying not to knock things off with my hands here. The piece can easily be moved across the floor for someone. So now all we have to do is list it and find a home for it. I'm sure somebody's going to want it. I'm very proud of this piece. I hope you've enjoyed watching it. Please don't forget to visit the website, theredesignhabit.com. Also, don't forget to give a thumbs up if you like this before and after kind of content. Let us know and we will give you more. And if you want to leave a comment or share a piece you've redone or even just ask a question, feel free. I'm happy to answer them. And we look forward to doing more of these in the future. And we will see you in the next video.